Hello again, Tom here from Wheeler Automotive. Today, showing you around this absolutely well, fully loaded uh, Nissan Qashqai Tecna. It's a 1.2 TSI with a six speed manual. Um, and it's, to be fair, the first one I've had and I can't believe how much uh, equipment they have. Unbelievable. This one's in really, really good nick. Only three owners from new. It's just touched over 70,000 miles. Uh, it's got a full history, seven uh, stamps in the book, six of them at uh, Nissan main dealer, the same garage. So it's been very well looked after. Um, it was last serviced. Um, just a couple of thousand miles ago in uh, February. So doesn't need another service until really February next year. It's got an MOT until the same time, February next year as well. Um, but yeah, it's in really, really nice condition. Just a couple of uh, very minor marks, sort of very commensurate with the age and mileage of it. But anyway, let's get round and show you some detail. So <clears throat> the front bumper is in really good shape. The lights are really good. It does have auto Xenon headlights. Um, and these little shapes here, they're uh, LED daytime running lights. But the bumper's all good, no real marks on that. It does have front and rear parking sensors. You can see them sticking out on the bumper there. Um, the bonnet's in really good shape, no marks on that. The previous owner, I took this in part exchange, and the previous owner, um, a stone had, hit, had come up and hit the panoramic roof and cracked it. So it's got a brand new uh, panoramic roof glass in. Um, it does have the electric blind as well, which we'll show you when we go inside. Um, it does have 360 cameras um, and a reversing camera. So this under the door there, that's a camera. I'll show you that when we get in. Um, but yeah, unbelievable spec on this thing. Let's have a look at this wheel. So it's got these um, diamond cut wheels, which overall I'd say are in, in good use condition. Um, if you wanted perfection, you need to get them diamond cut really. There's a bit of lack of peel you can see here. That's not a curb mark, it's not hit a curb. Um, you can see another bit there. It's just where the lack of peels off them, I don't really know. Um, whether it's a design flaw or what, because they all seem to do it. Um, but yeah, lovely 19 inch wheels. The fronts have a matching pair of Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. That's a couple of mil away from the wear indicator. You can see it's got a nice leather tread on it. Front brakes, little lip on the front brake, not, nothing to worry about. And the pads are nice and thick as well. So nothing needs replacing in that front corner, basically. Wings all good, driver's door, again, really good shape. There's a little car park door ding just there and another one here. And it looks like another one just there. These are the marks, they're water marks from where we just had it washed. Rear door all good, does have tinted glass from the B pillar back. There's no like dents or scratches on the car at all really. Just uh, very faint marks from people touching it with their car doors, I would think. Again, pretty much the same story with this 19 inch alloy. It's not been curbed at all. Just a tiny bit of lack of peel. I'd say these rear tires, I think it's a matching pair of accelerators on the rear. They're nearly new because that's quite a long way from the wear indicator. You can see the amount of tread in there. Rear discs. Slightly less lip than the front. There's the pads. Pads look nice and thick as well. So all the brakes, tyres, etc. don't need replacing anytime soon. Round to the rear. It's all nice and clean as it should be. There is a small mark on... I'll have a go at buffing that out. There's a small mark just left of the badge there. And then on the actual bumper itself you've got a couple of very very minor scratches where 
people have loaded stuff in and out of the boot. It's a great sized boot as well. Um, it's got these quite handy sort of storage bits. And so it's got like a floating floor. And then under this floating floor, you've got, let me show it, you've got like the, that's the um, emergency tire repair kit. It doesn't come with a spare. Not many cars do these days, to be fair. Uh, but good sized uh, boot. Let's carry on round. See, you've got there the rear sensors. Near side, just as nice as the offside, if, if anything, or maybe even nicer. So we've got same, same tire as the other side, loads of life in it. Distant pads are the same. Again, a presentable alloy, bit of uh, lack of peel, no curbing on it though. This door's very good, there is a very slight scratch just there, barely noticeable. Near side front door, can't, I can't see anything to be fair, oh there is a, there's a little nick there, look. just right on the edge, otherwise perfect. Both the wing mirrors are perfect as well actually, I forgot to say. Um, it also has a blind spot assist, which, um, which yeah, is just another thing to the spec on this. Amazing. And we've got another very presentable alloy. I don't think any of the alloys are curbed at all, but we've just got a bit of lacquer pin on them. I was wrong, I thought this matched the other side, but it doesn't. But it's got the same amount of life this tyre as the other one I would say. About two mil from the wear indicator. So none of the none of the tyres, brakes, etc. need to be addressed anytime soon. Um, yeah, for an eight-year-old car with 70,000 miles, I'd say it's in very, very good condition. And the same can be said inside. Let's show you in there now. So it's uh, it's a black interior. Black leather seats, both sides in the front in really good nick. There's not really any signs of wear in here at all. You can see the driver's seat, the driver's seat bolster, very, very slight signs of wear on that. But uh, yeah, otherwise really, really clean. It does have this wonderful new panoramic glass roof with the electric blind, show you that when we start it up, show you in the rear, another lovely and clean door card, rear seats are in all, are in really good shape, backs of the seats are really nice, it's just obviously been well looked after, a lot of cars like this are sort of family cars and um, have quite a tough life with young children in the back but this one looks like it's if it has had your own children in the back, then they're very well behaved. Yeah, all nice and uh, clean. The car's never been smoked in. You can just tell. As an ex-smoker, I could tell that no one's ever smoked in this. Driver's door card, all good. So we've got electric mirrors there. That's the, the mirrors fold in. That's what that left-hand side button's for. Four electric windows. That's the... Uh, window lock and the car unlock and lock buttons. Um, electric seat for the driver. And again, yeah, it's just really, really nice. Let's get in and we'll start her up. So it's um, it's keyless go and keyless entry as well. Uh, I've got two working keys. So I'll put my foot on the clutch and we'll start her up. Start, stops and drives like a new car. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. The clutch is bang in the middle. Um, there's no weird noises from it at all. The chap that I got it from bought it from a Nissan main dealer. And when he, um, when he got it, he said that the timing chain was a bit noisy. So he got them to replace the timing chain before he bought the car. So that was um, just over a year ago and about 10,000 miles. So. It's got a brand new timing chain. It's only done about 10K on it. Um, 
and yeah in here is just it's just such a great spec it's got twin zone climate with air conditioning which blows absolutely ice cold which is great on a day like today uh, we've got dab radio up here uh, full postcode sat nav uh, bluetooth for music streaming and obviously phone calls we've got a camera button there which will show the 360 degree cameras and the reverse camera i think if you press that again it does that so you can parallel park very useful um, everything in here works exactly as it should the, everything's very quick as well that map loads really quickly we've got a couple of cup holders down here heated front seats which I accidentally turned on earlier and worked very well got a really big storage bin in there with an aux in USB and another power outlet um, <clears throat> it's got auto start stop that button to the right of that is for the parking sensors and the traction control buttons above it um, got cruise control and the phone hang up and answer buttons there and over this side we've got uh, buttons for the stereo etc etc so yeah um, those light up orange just there for the blind spot monitor this is the blind the sun blind which uh, is obviously useful for when you park up on a sunny day very nice uh, six speed box is perfect the engine uh, I think it's got about 113 brake is nippy and super economical like this thing hardly uses any uh, petrol whatsoever um, yeah everything in here works exactly as it should there's barely a sign that uh, that it's done the miles that it has um, which is only 70k you know I say that as if it's done loads but it hasn't uh, down here we've got another little power outlet there you could plug a uh, charger in for your phone etc yeah it's just a lovely place to be um, let's get out and you can hear that we well, can barely hear it to be fair that little 1.2 TSI engine is super quiet um, and yeah it works exactly as it should there it is our 2014 Nissan Qashqai Tecna.